what's up squad it's your girl d and i am here for this hair care video honey like i have been neglecting my hair for far too long so it's time that i start back loving all over my hair done with school i ain't got that stress so yeah let's go ahead and take care of our head y'all okay y'all so first i just start by parting my hair down the middle i just feel like it's easier for me to work in sections with my hair so i'm just splitting it into two different sections and then with those two sections i'm then going to be splitting those two into <laughs> two different sections so oh y'all see my face honey like my hair was a stra go like it was so tangled oh my goodness like it was giving me the blues like <laughs> as y'all can see okay so now that i have my hair sectioned uh, what i'm gonna do now is i'm actually going to go in with my spritz and this is just water and oil and I'm just going to be spritzing all over my head just to get in there so that I saturate my hair for when I go ahead and detangle and I'm just making sure that I spritz it really 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 good So as you see, I am just going in with my wide tooth comb. That's why I wanted to saturate my hair really good and just making sure I start from the ends and work my way up. And I decided to go back to my old faithful wide tooth because my paddle brush often gets caught in my hair and with me trying to better take care of my hair, I didn't want to cause any type of breakage. So yeah, I'm using my wide tooth comb. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be taking some oil, castor oil and olive oil to be exact. And I'm just going to make sure I focus that on the ends of my hair and I'm just going to make sure it's evenly distributed. And then I'm going to just go ahead and twist it up. And that's what I do with each section. So y'all, uh, I'm just real quick just showing y'all how much hair I actually lost in the process of detangling. And this is a, a whole lot of hair. Like this is a lot of hair to be losing. So hopefully this rice water method work because that's ridiculous. Come and think about it. I don't even know why I braided my hair up because I actually end up doing another step. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you all how my hair was looking. It looks really shiny and it just looks really good with it being detangled and actually taken care of. So what you see now is I'm actually going to be taking an aloe vera plant or leaf that I had sitting around and instead of wasting it, I figured why not use it on my hair. So I'm just going to take each section, part it. I'm going to spray some rose water on it and I'm just going to be rubbing that leaf in between each section, just making sure that I really get in good with all that juice.
So what I'm doing now is the plant started to get dry. So I'm just taking a knife and I'm just adding some puncture wounds to it so that I can get the rest of the juice within the leaf. Look, ain't no wasting over here. So I'm trying to get as much out of this leaf as I can, hunty. Okay, so we're going to puncture this dang on leaf up. Give me all them juices, okay? Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going back to that oil mixture and I'm just going to be rubbing that on each section that I put that aloe vera juice at and I'm just going to massage that into my head, make sure it's all good and all in my scalp. Yes, we want all that goodness. And I guess I figured I'd be a little bit more extra and just go back in that leaf and rub it some more in my head. So now I'm just going to twist up this section and I'm just going to do the same step for each of the other sections. I don't know what frame I was in, but <laughs> I'm just showing you all how my hair looks after applying the aloe vera and the oil. And it just looks so good and shiny. Like it just looks so much more healthier. So now I'm just going to be taking my scarf and I'm just going to be, you know, tying my hair up. I'm not going to tie it too tight, but tight enough to where it is secure throughout the night. And y'all know we don't waste nothing over here. So I figure why not use the piece that I already cut of the aloe vera leaf and apply it to my face. Y'all know my face has been acting crazy from the last facial product I tried. So yeah, why not apply it to the face? Because you know this has many benefits, y'all. So it is the next day. Yes, I left everything in overnight. And as you can see, I'm just go ahead, go ahead. What type of vocabulary am I using? <laughs> so I'm just um, washing my hair right now. And I decided to use all the shampoo products that I already have that only had like a little bit in it. Because y'all know, what is it? We don't waste nothing around here, okay? So I just decided to go ahead and use um, up all the shampoos that I have. So that's the coconut brand. I forgot the name. And then some curls brand. And then also I went in with my Dr. Bronner's. So I'm just trying to make sure I use up all the shampoos and just wash each section. And y'all, I really don't like washing my hair like this in the sink. But... You know, we do it anyway, and I don't like washing it in the shower, but I prefer it this way over the shower, so this is what we're going to do. So as you can see, I'm taking my fermented rice water and I am just going to transfer that into a spray bottle so that I can um, better distribute it throughout my hair. And once it's in that spray bottle, I'm just going to go ahead and just take that or spritz that all throughout my hair. And I'm doing section by section because I want to make sure that I get all in there, y'all. I need all that rice water going through all cuticles and all spaces of my hair so I'm just making sure that all that is like I said evenly distributed and I'm gonna make sure I use 
air all of that rice water in that spray bottle so i'm making sure that i really really get in there and yeah <laughs> let's get into this shine for a bit like y'all see that shine on that hair on them cuticles like oh let it oh my goodness i can't even talk So as you can see, I'm just going in with that rice water spritz and I'm just going section by section, making sure that I, like I said, soak up all them cuticles and just making sure that it is all up and throughout there. And I'm just twisting up each section. Can I get a refill? Okay. <laughs> so y'all just see I'm just refilling my spritz bottle because I ran out. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just spritzing all over my head, trying to use up all that rice water that's in the spritz bottle. Because like I said, we're, we don't waste nothing, and I didn't want to put it back in the jar. So I'm just going to be using all of that and just spraying it on my head. Okay, so I'm just going to take my good old Kroger grocery bag. No reason to go out and buy shower caps because you always have grocery bags. And I'm just going to be putting that over my hair, making sure all my hair is in the bag. And I'm just going to be tying it and letting that rice water sit for about maybe an hour or so. Y'all, so my hair is wrapped up. Um just got done putting my rice water my fermented rice water on my hair i'll just have this towel over my head so that it'll catch all the drip but i'm gonna take it off in a little bit when i feel like my hair won't drip um my hair is not dripping that much because i'm actually about to clean up and cook so i don't want all that i'm already soaked so i don't want all that water to keep dripping so yeah so um you don't have to put a, a towel on your head but I, like i said i'm just putting this on here because i don't want the water to drip on me uh the far as the smell of the rice water i really just try not to smell it i can't smell it right now because i'm not trying to and i don't want to because i know it's gonna smell bad so yeah i just didn't even force myself to smell it and I can't smell it now, so that's good. So now I'm just about to let this sit on my hair under this bag for I don't know how long. I'm just going to finish cleaning up. I'm going to finish cooking and all that. And then once I'm done with all that, I'll wash it out. So when I come back, I'll let you all know exactly how long that has been. So yeah, until then, I will be back. Okay, so now that I'm all rinsed out, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be applying my leave-in conditioner, which I am using Carol's Daughter's conditioner. Then I'm going to be applying my moisturizer, which is going to be the um, protein, not the protein, <laughs> the Pantene Naturals. I had a few packs of samples laying around, so I wanted to try that. And then after that, I am going to be applying my oil just to seal it. So basically, I'm instead of the lock method, I'm using the LCO method.
And just to make sure that all those products are getting throughout my hair, I'm actually going to be splitting each section into two. And then once I apply my products, I'm then just going to twist up each section. So now I'm just showing y'all how my hair looks after everything and I made sure that I put emphasis on the oil or rather sealing my ends because I want to make sure that that moisture sits in my hair. So now my hair actually looks a lot better. It looks shiny. It looks like it just looks healthy y'all like and I was feeling myself because I'm like why haven't I did this sooner? So yeah as y'all can see I am feeling myself and I'm loving just how my hair feels and how it looks and just oh y'all I cannot oh yes so after rubbing my hands through my strand the strand test I come to find out that I believe that I have high porosity hair so that's why I did the steps that I did I did the LCO method so after all that that's why I want to twist my hair to make it stretch so it will not tangle so easily So I know I detangled my hair before I began my washing process, but again, um, as I wash and do all my steps, I do go in through with my big tooth, my big tooth, my wide tooth comb. And right now I'm just showing you all um, how much more hair I lost or, you know, shed it after I've already detangled. And it's still a lot to me for me to have already detangled my hair. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for more of my high porosity hair care videos because I am definitely going to be on it. So yeah, I guess I'll see you all next time.